Alright, so I ended up making three exhibits and recording the talking parts, but I didn't even have my microphone plugged in because I had to move it. Uh, so, <laughs> this is a bit in the future after I made the Barbarossa exhibit, but I like how it turned out. It's a lot more open than the Clouded Leopards because they required uh, less foliage. Uh, but it's nice. It gives a kind of open space to, to it. Uh, I explained in the part that now wasn't recorded. I made the Babarusa exhibit and the Indian Rhino exhibit side by side um, because uh, that's how my local zoo has it. And I had mentioned it before, but Babarusas are kind of a special animal to me because when my local zoo first got them, I ended up actually befriending him and he came right up to the fence to me, as this picture will show. Uh, and I spent like a good half hour just talking to a pig and he was responding, so. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, this is the Babarusa exhibit. Very tropical feel. Uh, this building is different than the one in the video, because I also explained in the video that wasn't recorded. Uh, with the audio, I ended up hating the building, some weird stuff was going on with the grid, uh, so everything was kind of wonky. So I ended up scrapping it and remaking it. Yeah, see, it gives a good kind of indoor viewing area for the Babarusa. Yeah. So, now I gotta go record the pre- or the post-exhibit building talk for the other two exhibits. And I guess that means that there isn't gonna be the pre-exhibit talk that I usually do. You know, um... I was making some pretty good jokes in the Komodo Dragon one, but... Because <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll start as soon as it's out of quarantine. And I was like, oh, I wish I wish I could be out of quarantine. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, but anyways, yeah. Look at him go. Doing what pigs do. Yeah. But anyways, that's the Babarus exhibit again. Nothing too complicated, but I'm getting more confident in my exhibit building abilities. I think these ones so far have been some of my best. And as always, thanks for watching. All right, back again, just because I wanted to add something. Uh, at my local zoo, the Babarusa are always, uh, their exhibits right beside the Indian Rhino exhibit. And since the Babarusa, uh, the female, you know, it's just a small gray animal with kind of skin similar to a rhino, it's almost a guaranteed, guaranteed every time you go to the zoo, you'll see someone uh, looking at the Babarusa and being like, Oh, look, it's a baby rhino. It, look at the baby rhino. It's so cute. Uh, when I was a kid, I would always correct people about stuff like that. And then, like, one time my parents were like, No, you're going to get punched in the nose if you do that to the wrong person. And similar animal, Red River Hog. Uh looking at them, and then uh, someone walks right up, right beside the sign that says what they are, and goes, well, look at the anteaters, as he's standing right beside the sign that says Red River Hog in, in big letters. Anyways, I just thought it was funny that, yeah, part of the reason why I put them beside the rhinos is to honor my local zoo, and then also just to go with the, uh, look at the baby rhinos. I just thought it was funny and worth adding. All right, thanks for watching.